about to end all pod mods we're gonna be looking at today. This is Smoke's Pod Mod Killer, basically, because they have created what they believe to be the ultimate in pod mod systems. But I'm gonna be the final word on that. So hang tight, guys, because we are gonna be taking a look at the real pod mod, the RPM 40 kit today. All right, guys, here you go. Bam, that's gonna be the first thing is an actual instruction input. Looks like a real one. Not like what you get with the jewel pods. Check this thing out. Because we have a real working 40 watt mod going on here. In the packaging, you feel like you're getting a real product. So check this out. Micro USB cord and the 1500 watt pod mod itself right there. I'm gonna show you more in a second. And then it comes with two complete pods with coils already in them. And as you can see, while they look just like the pod mod, unlike most pods, these are square. What? That's right. So you've actually got a 4.5 mil and a 4.3 mil juice capacity. I believe the um, RPM 0.4 mesh coil in this one is a little bit larger. That's why you get a 0.2 less mil capacity than what you get in the Nord pod. They give you with their 0.6 mesh Nord coil. So we're gonna try both out today, why not, right? So before we do that, let's go ahead and fill them up. I'm gonna be using a couple of different flavors from Vaping Roses. All right, guys, I'm gonna use a frozen fruit, and then I think I'm gonna use a Happy Melons. Happy Melons, man. If Bob Ross was doing a paintings with melons in it, you could goddamn be sure they gonna be Happy Melons. So that's what I'm gonna vape on today. I'm in the mood for some Happy Melons. All right, and this frozen fruit sounds kind of good, like it's gonna be just a little bit menthol-y. So both of them fill the same way. You're gonna pop up this little rubber stopper right there. It is a fairly tiny hole. I think I'll be able to shove this into it and fill it, but you may want to use one of those little needle nose top adapters. But otherwise, just hold it back and shove it in. Just like I say to my dates. <laughs> All right, guys, we got them both filled up with the juices. Let's go ahead and start with this Nord 0.6 mesh coil. These tanks are pretty tight fit. I mean, you don't have to worry about them falling out at least, but I'm just telling you, lubricate before inserting. It's always good advice. All right, guys, and then five clicks, and look at that, man. You've actually got, I think it's a 0.96 inch LED screen on there. And as you can see, you're gonna have that full vaping range of one all the way up to 40. It does not turn around or round robins. You also have your vape counter in seconds. You have the resistance. You also have your voltage, which will start up once you start vaping. And then on the bottom there, you have your puff counter. All right, you can reset your puff counter by hitting the power button and the down button at the same time. So now we got a clear puff counter, and then by doing the up button and the power at the same time, you can switch colors, I think. Are we switching colors, people? Yes, we are. And, which I had done accidentally while you guys were watching, you press both the up and down and you can lock your wattage or unlock it like so. All right, guys, this does not give me a vaping range on this. I know it's a 0.6 resistance mesh coil. So I'm assuming, you know, probably gonna be good up towards the higher end, but let's go ahead and see what it does at 20 watts. So all right, here we go with the 20 watt vape on the Nord 0.6 resistance mesh coil. On the new, RPM 40 kit from Smout. Check it out. <laughs> Woo! Had a feeling it was gonna do that. That's why I didn't go up to 40 on that. Wow, dude. 20's probably even more than you need. God damn! I am impressed. I know those Nords fucking vape well and they are very popular. But man, putting them in here with the variable wattage, this is only a 14 freaking watts, guys. I gotta say, there's a part of me that's saying, why are you vaping a 75, 80 watts when you can do that at mother freaking 14 god damn watts? All right, let's see what their brand new RPM 40 is gonna do. This is the one I'm excited about trying out, although like I said, that one surprised me with how much vapor production it was doing. All right, so we're gonna do a first hit at 10 watts. Whew, 
So that, you know, that definitely you're drawing for a while. Very mild, didn't feel that one going in at all. I think we're starting to get the flavor um, profile coming off of this now. I'm getting more of the fruit medley, not so much of the menthol. But all right, now let's just hit 15, then we'll hit 20, then we'll hit 25. We'll see how high I can get it. Cock-a-doodle, damn! You pod mod lovers are gonna freaking love this thing, man. Now we're gonna try 20. That's a 25% increase. See how these new fucking 0.4 resistance coils handle this. Damn, that's amazing, man. 20 watt vape, really good flavor coming off of this. I would actually say a little bit more flavor coming off of this 0.4 resistance RPM than I was getting off that Nord. Let's go ahead and do 25. I mean, gotta go up to 40 watts for a reason, right? Perfectly good at 25, man. Still mild, still vaping great. 30 watt. Now you should probably be able to start getting a little bit of quicker vapes if you don't want to sit there and have to do like a four or five second drag. That's a little more natural, casual, you know, a couple of second drag going on. Vape's really nice though. I like these new coils. You can really just fine tune the vape. I mean, if you're somebody who likes it a little bit more mild, maybe like myself, if you're vaping Nick Salts, you know, you can kick it down a little bit. If you're vaping regular juice or if you really like that aggressive vape, you know, this is something you're going to be able to turn all the way up to 40 watts and basically do this. <laughs> all righty then. All right, well, there's about your limit, man. I'd say about 25, 30 watts. It's probably gonna be perfect. But like I said, they send you both coils. You can start down at that 14 watt vape with the Nord coils, and then you can work your way all the way up to 25, 30 watts on this other one. So a great little alternative, especially for any of you jewelers out there who are concerned right now with the counterfeit jewel pods on the market. Get one of these open system pods, and you can basically fill them yourself, vape the way you like to vape from smoke, the pod mod killer, the RPM 40 kit. Just use that link right underneath of this video. I'll have the one for that and the juice down there. And while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and subscribe to this channel and ring that little bell so you get the notifications when the videos go up.